At some point or other, you must have questioned the industry's ability to manufacture all sorts of goods with an unimaginable precision and in a whopping quantity. Technology has revolutionized mass production and made quite a few tasks easier for people, and the insane manufacturing processes we're going to show you today are bound to leave you awestruck with their sophistication and efficiency. But before we take a deep dive into the world of manufacturing, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up so you don't miss out on our upcoming content. Separated Egg Whites and Yolks Beginning with the one manufacturing miracle on this list that's going to make quite a few people happy, because let's have it, sometimes the simplest of tasks tend to annoy you the most. One such task is separating the egg whites and yolks. Now, a decade or two ago, it would be impossible to assume that one of these days you'd be able to buy egg yolks and whites separately. But today, more and more superstores are offering this option to customers. This not only reduces the number of residues in your kitchen, but also saves you precious time. However, doing this manually would not be feasible for factories, because they use machines like these, it's designed specifically for the purpose. A variety of these machines perform various functions in harmony, such as the washer or the egg breaking machine. Since the raw egg is not clean, the equipment moves them along a conveyor belt where different machines clean them, break them, separate the components into different compartments, and hence processing 5 to 10,000 eggs per hour. Dessert. If you thought the processing of eggs was remarkable, wait till you see what this multi-purpose dessert-making machine can do. Modern technological advancement has led to the invention of many machines that can be used to automatically make desserts with a minimum amount of human participation. All you need to do is program the computer and ensure proper maintenance of the machines. It's no secret that the pastry factories use dispensing machines like the one we're showing you in this video. Equipped with a large container, the dispensers can dispense accurate quantities of either dough, cream or stuffing, depending on what the requirements are. So you can fill cupcake molds with dough, tarts with cream, or simply create layered desserts in bulk amounts. These machines often come with a wide range of accessories that enhance their functionality, allowing you to make and decorate desserts however you prefer. Whether you'd like to layer a croissant with cream or make desserts of different shapes and sizes, these machines are a dream come true for pastry chefs. And with newer, more efficient and functionally advanced models releasing every year, you can bet that soon the entire dessert industry will depend on these. French Callisons If your mouth isn't watering from the thought of amazing desserts by now, here's another sweet edible you won't be able to resist once you find out how much effort and dedication goes into creating it. Callisons are a delicious French delicacy produced in factories of the Eon Provence. This traditional candy dates back to the 15th century. Created mainly from almonds that are rehydrated by steaming the nuts with saturated fats, callisons or calisson also incorporate beet sugar along with a mixture of egg whites and powdered sugar which formulates the glaze used for covering the product. Another vital ingredient is candied fruit, melons and oranges being the most frequently used ones. The fruit and nuts forming the mixture can then thoroughly be ground to form a fine paste, which needs to rest for three days before it can proceed to form the callisons. Once all the ingredients are mixed, the paste is divided using almond-shaped moulds, and a worker then applies a layer of glaze on these callisons using a stencil. The final steps are baking these in the oven for 10 minutes, after which they are hardened and ready to eat. These are then packaged in exquisite containers and sent off to the market, where you can buy these to treat your own sweet tooth, or just to gift them to a loved one or friend. Gingerbread It's no secret that gingerbread is one very popular food item, especially around the festive season. Gingerbread has been around since the year 350 BC. Crazy, right? Although back then it was more like flatbread layered with honey. Cooking gingerbread, however, is no easy task as it requires a lot of time, concentration and ingredients. But because of the latest technology now, all you need to do is drive to the nearest shop and buy gingerbread of any shape and size you like. This is possible thanks to the automated machines available nowadays. These machines can just mix all the ingredients until the dough attains the correct consistency. After this, the machine rolls it into an even thicker sheet, which is then cut into the desired shape by moulds that are lowered over the sheet from the top of the machine. While moving on the conveyor belt, the operator removes the excess dough once it's been cut, and this extra dough is then reused for making more bread. This helps prevent the excess from getting wasted. Finally, it's then to the oven, where it's cooked to perfection. Ice cream, the universal favourite. No one can deny the importance of ice cream in the world of food, but did you know that over time, as the flavours and types of ice cream have increased, human involvement in the process has hit an all-time low? Smart machines are now available to perform a variety of tasks, including mixing, filling, freezing and packaging. 
For making ice cream, the machine first mixes the ingredients, which are milk, cream, butter, sugar, and the flavorings and additives. The products are, however, tested in the laboratory before they can be sent to the production hall. First, the milk is heated, then all the ingredients mentioned before are added to it and mixed to achieve a homogeneous state. The flavored ice cream mixture now needs to be pasteurized by heating it to a temperature of 80 to 95 degrees Celsius so it can survive long-term transportation and storage. Once pasteurized, the ice cream mixture is cooked and the molds, cones, or jars are filled with it. The last step requires these to be frozen and stored. The process for making ice pops is similar, but the ingredients may differ slightly. Metal forging Forging is the manufacturing process used to produce a diverse range of metal parts with a large variety of different characteristics. Factories worldwide process all kinds of metals daily, forging them into all kinds of shapes and sizes. Commonly used metals include iron, copper, aluminium, and titanium. But before the extremely hard metal can be processed by the machines, it needs to reach the forging temperature, which is unique to each metal, depending on its physical and chemical characteristics. For example, iron needs to be heated to a temperature of 800 to 1200 degrees Celsius before it can be forged, while copper requires around 650 to 1000 degrees Celsius temperature. Aluminium and its alloys, however, need to be around 400 to 480 degrees Celsius to be processed. Forging can be done in several ways, including hammering, pneumatic steam, hydraulics, and stamping. Manual forging is also an option, but for industrial purposes, it's not very suitable. The process includes four major steps and begins by heating the metal at the desired temperature. The heated metal is then compressed to form a homogeneous object. The metal is hammered to eliminate any hollows before pouring the metal into molds to give it the right shape. It can then be cut, stretched, or bent depending on the required shape. The last step is to smoothen the uneven outer surface of the metal. Bread Another staple edible mass-produced in factories nowadays is bread, and rightfully so because it would be impossible to meet the demand otherwise. Like all other edibles in this list, bread is also made in factories using machines. The dough is usually made first in a special hole which is then subsequently cooked and processed on a long production line. In its raw form, bread is just a big lump of dough which undergoes various stages of processing as it moves further down the line. It's rolled thinner while flour is poured over it to prevent it from sticking. Once it reaches the required thickness, blades are used to cut it. After this, a special machine shapes the dough and it's then left to rest for some time to allow proper fermentation. The next step is to cook the bread, and once it's done, the bread is allowed to cool before it's packaged to be delivered. To ensure that fresh, high-quality bread reaches customers, the packaging is stamped with the date of manufacturing and the date of expiration. Condoms Believe it or not, condoms need to undergo rigorous processing. And that's not it. After production, these condoms need to pass several quality tests to meet the international standard before hitting the market. All condoms are manufactured in more or less the same way. The latex is pre-vulcanized and then treated with chemicals to enhance its strength and stability. The chemicals react with the latex, rendering it durable and hypoallergenic. This treated latex is then tested again. After another quality check, the latex is transferred to vast temperature-regulated storage tanks. Here, the clean glass formers are coated by dipping them into the latex and then rotated to spread them evenly. The formers are dipped for a second time after drying and passed through an oven so that the rubber can be vulcanized. Finally, the condoms are removed from the formers and cleaned to remove any residue. After this, they're powdered using safe chemicals. This, however, is not the end because now the condoms are allowed to mature for two days before they're electronically tested for holes and imperfections. Next, a machine packages them in a single unit foil. The foil is then sealed by heat and stamped with batch number and expiry date. And before the condoms are finally sent to the market, they're checked one last time to ensure they meet the relevant standards. Breeding Horses To give you a break from thinking about delicious food, we've chosen a unique manufacturing process to discuss next. Horse breeders nowadays are facing difficulty in their businesses, with many magnificent breeds being on the verge of extinction. This is mostly due to the lack of genetic diversity, which is a consequence of rapid urbanization and the reduction in the natural habitat of the animal. Science has come forward with a solution to this problem, urging the breeders to manipulate the process and hence manufacture the desired breeds with artificial interventions. The stud should only be allowed to impregnate horses that they're not aching, to therefore allow artificial insemination. The father horse needs to be in the best health and the strongest of its kind. Changing the father every four years will increase the diversity, which in turn will lead to better survival of the desired breeds. Because of this breakthrough, horse breeders have been able to save many magnificent breeds of horses from going extinct. 
That's all for today's list of insane manufacturing processes you must know about. For more interesting and information-packed videos, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notifications. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment which of the manufacturing processes blew your mind. We'll be back soon. Have a great time till then.